so that visitors to the Grand Canyon National Park's museum were exposed to unsafe levels of radiation for nearly two decades due to uranium ore being improperly stored in five-gallon paint buckets next to a taxidermy exhibit. It's extremely unlikely that anyone was significantly exposed. The range of the radiation coming off uranium is extremely low. A detector would probably read background zero at only a half dozen feet away, so unless you ate it or did something weird like spread it over your mattress and slept on it for a week or more it's unlikely to be significantly harmful in terms of the radiation. It is also a heavy metal so there's a good chance you'll die of heavy metal poisoning before succumbing to the radiation. But the story is suspect. May have been exposed to uranium ore that was in a sealed bucket, or, with a fraction of a percent of a radioactive isotope if purified. Bananas are radioactive by that standard. Radiation is natural, this story is designed to make safe amounts seem dangerous or irresponsible. Clickbait for people who don't understand what ionizing radiation is or that they are constantly exposed to perfectly safe amounts. Stevenson said the containers were stored next to a taxidermy exhibit, where children on tours sometimes stopped for presentations, sitting next to uranium for 30 minutes or more. By his calculation, those children could have received radiation dosages in excess of federal safety standards within three seconds, and adults could have suffered dangerous exposure in less than a half minute. Wow that's awful. I'm really confused, can someone help me out? What the F was uranium doing being stored in a museum in the first place? I understand it is possible that the uranium ore was discovered at the Grand Canyon, and the article said it had been there since the 60s, just not anywhere near the public until 2000. But we knew uranium was dangerous back then, why would it have been stored in a museum in the first place? The article is scary but it's not so high, it's 140 microsieverts height, the regulation is 2 millisieverts per year for workers working in nuclear areas, sometimes 20 in some countries. So if you stay half an hour it's less than an international flight, for national flights I don't know. So you can stay more than 10 hours without problems in the same room. Then for closer positions it's getting risky on the other hand. The more the article continues the more of a clown fiesta it becomes. March 2018 the kid finds it. They move them to a back room until a few months later they happen to mention it during a safety inspection. Then they take the buckets without protective gear, but the dishwashing gloves will do, and dump the contents in a mine shaft. Then bring the buckets back. This is from several months after that article final report concludes no radiation exposure from uranium ore at Grand Canyon National Park. Put aside the fact that the ore was improperly stored. Why in the fuck was it stored next to an exhibit? You know the thing people walked past it shouldn't have even been in the building at all, complete incompetence at work. Hmm? It's the Grand Canyon. There's gotta be some place to stow these hazardous buckets. 100 square miles of uninhabited canyon. How about right next to where all the people are? If you are in the Museum Collections Building 2C between the year 2000 and June 18, 2018, you were exposed to uranium by OSHA's definition, Stevenson wrote. Pretty sure I was exposed to this level. I was just thinking about how I went to the Grand Canyon 20 years ago, as a kid. Who loves museums and displays? How much radiation would they have been exposed to? Small amounts basically don't matter, the probability of getting anything barely shifts. A lot of houses in Navajo Nation were built using stones of uranium ore, exposing families to unsafe levels of radiation. So you're telling me that I could have had 5 gallons or more of uranium ore had I just worn a paint shirt? Nuts. How many kids were cold and sat on the strangely warm buckets during those 30 minute presentations? Can someone tell me if there is a proper way to store uranium ore in a 5 gallon paint bucket? Was the building open to the general public? Or just chores? Was it part of the museum? This sounds like something right out of Fallout. Who was managing that museum? Vault Tech? Found by a Geiger counter enthusiast. Beep. Beep. Beep beep beep. Oh shit, so visiting the Grand Canyon as a kid could have given me cancer in the future great. I was under the impression that unprocessed uranium ore wasn't that radioactive. Visitors? What about the park's workers who work there all day long for years? Unsafe levels, really? I need to see if they give the dose rate in the story. Unsafe levels are any levels. Radiation is everywhere. Freak out now. I will be more concerned for the employees who spend 8 hours a day there. One of the buckets was so full that its lid would not close. Bruh, skull. I feel sorry for the employees that worked at that museum every day. Well shit. Wonder what cancer I'll be getting in the future.